Hi all, with this video I just quickly wanted to introduce a concept of generalized graph builder. Uh, let's suppose we have the data of uh, a tabular or transactional data or relational data of employee in the department. Uh, the data sample looks something like this um, and we would attempt to model this uh, on to a graph solution. Uh, and how would we do that? So before jumping onto the solutioning, uh, let's try to see what will be the different modeling uh, concepts and challenges that we, we need to accommodate. So let's suppose we have this employee data which has the employee ID uh, and the name, manager, uh, uh, department, age, and salary, and, sim and has a, a normalized uh, kind of a department table which has the department name. There could be two ways of doing uh, or converting this into a graph. Uh, we could take the department uh, also to be a node and uh, have a label to that. So the labels could be distinctly an employee and a department. So th uh, that's something that you see at the bottom. There could be a department which has its description and ID and similarly uh, uh, have an employee and its description uh, and for all of the properties. Uh, the second approach could be a little different wherein you uh, we could kind of uh, create this data in a more tabular way and actually accommodate the department as a property. So in this case, you see, uh, you know, based, uh, you would have a department as a property to the employee. Uh, that completely depends upon the querying scenarios, but how we can kind of generalize once we kind of form this uh, a model data model uh, that we want to uh, want our graph to be like how we can generalize this and build this uh, build this graph um, now let's jump on to this we will be uh, using cosmos db uh, azure cosmos db event gremlin uh, api for for this for hosting as uh, the graph as a storage so i have to introduce both of these concepts right now i have created two containers uh, so the employee, the model one will be hosted on employee and employee model two will host second concept. So right now, if both of the containers are em empty, uh, so if we kind of, we can quickly validate that. So right now, if we, if we just run this query, it's, it's an empty container. Similarly for the, the next container. Now let's jump on uh, to our solution. So solution has two parts or two stages to it. The first stage is, is that of the data engineering or the modeling piece. That is something that the data engineer would need to kind of uh, accommodate or model. Uh, and the second part is generalized code which can use the metadata and then based on the metadata can go ahead and build the graph for you. So let's just quickly run this uh, code for the small subset of data that we are attempting to model. So right now we see we are going to import um, these two files. I've hosted that, that uh, these two, both of these files into my Azure Data Lake. Uh, and now let's try to see the, the first part of model where, where department is modeled as a vertex. Uh, so it's just as simple. We kind of, based on the data, we kind of model it in the form wherein we say employee vertex uh, as one of the uh, data, uh, data sets and employee edge, department vertex and department edge. The queries are based on the graph frames of the, uh, uh, which is which is an extension. So on, on Databricks for your Cosmos DB and it allows you to kind of build those graphs with the vertices and edges based on that. And the next part of the code is actually generating your metadata. So based on your, uh, based on the modeling, we simply go ahead, ahead and create a, a four attributes, which just gives the labels. And these are like the employee and the department labels and, uh, and uh, tells that tells us the type, the vertex or the edge and the, the location where these files are currently after processing they reside. So based on this, uh, the next piece of automated code will kind of just refer this as a metadata and go ahead and build this. So, so let's complete this stage one first with this code for model one. Uh, and this will generate both the table, the, the model which will uh, be consumed by uh, the graph and the metadata of the, of the data model which is uh, on the data lake. So as this runs, so let's jump onto the next piece of code. 
yeah and we i think we are through so that completes the first part of it so we just ha uh, we just completed the metadata the next part is an automated piece of code so we just call the process graph this can be uh, called again so if you see it's just going to read one file and that is the metadata which kind of which we created this can be a fixed configurable location and where we can kind of just refer each and every time so right now it's it's a fixed location Let's just read the metadata. Okay, and and the next piece is it's just uh, the graph frames. That's something that we are building here. In, in, in this piece, we are simply assigning uh, what collection we want to populate or uh, build this graph. So and based and and based on the metadata that we have read, we are just trying to extract the vertices and the edges and and based on them kind of build the graph. That's all. So let's run this code. That's about it. So let's jump on to our portal again. Sorry, seems to be a little slow. There you go. So you see right now we have uh, the data created in both for the department and or uh, and also for the employees. So if you see Satya, uh, Satya belongs, Satya is the CEO so he, and, and he, holds, he has all the directs are reporting to him. So it, he has both the department and also uh, the employees uh, reporting to him. And the department that he belongs to so the edge label kind of depicts the, the relationship of the vertex so that was the part one now let's say we want to, to do jump on on the second part so again let's let me just go back on the stage the, the, the data engineer again would just have to um, kind of just execute the second part of the model if he prefers to build the graph in this in the, in the latter fashion wherein the data uh, the department is to be a property so let's kind of just re-execute the model for part two wherein we just we in the, in the query we are treating we're just joining with uh, the department and treating the department description as a property here and let's just just jump back on the process graph And we will just populate this into a model two collection. That's all. So that's all we have changed. If you see, there's nothing uh, else that we have changed in this entire framework. So if we just now jump on the model two collection. It builds the entire graph and populates the entire graph in in, in, in uh, the second concept. So so basically now we have department as an as a property to the graph. So that's all I wanted to kind of uh, convey, uh, and we can populate this in bulk on the cosmos. So yeah, that was all I had. Thank you.